Hi everyone. Today I am going to discuss about important concepts on mechanical properties of solids and fluids. If you prepare completely these two chapters easily you will get 9 mark in your first PUC annual exam 2024. Those who are watching my videos first time do like and subscribe for more updates. Now I will go through the mechanical properties of solids. This is a small chapter. Here from this chapter the teaching hours is 4 hours and allotted marks is 4 mark. Here you are going to get one MCQ question which carries one mark and one essay type question which carries 3 mark totally 4 mark the important concepts are first one stress and strain here you will get the questions like what is meant by stress what is the SI unit and what type of quantity it is and types of stress there are some types are there in a stress okay. and also strain what is meant by strain what is the dimension formula of strain is it dimensional quantity or dimensionless quantity and the types of strain like that questions you are going to get in your annual exam then after that second concept that is Hooke's law Hooke's law explains the relation between stress and strain. How stress is related to strain. Okay. Next one, stress strain curve. Here in this chapter, we are observing the curve. That curve indicates the relations between stress and strain. Okay. Next one, Young's modulus. Young's modulus. Here you are going to study the elastic property of a metals. Young's modulus is purely related to metallic elements. Steel, copper, okay, iron. Usually using steels or copper mainly. We are discussing the elastic nature here. Next, shear modulus. This is also important concept here a cube box is there when we beat the cube box bottom face is remains same only top face is become deformed what amount it get deformed that we are measuring bottom face remains same okay this is the shear modulus next one is bulk modulus here bulk modulus is purely related to liquid molecules or gaseous molecules here the molecules are freely moving okay. here we are calculating the bulk modulus for liquid molecules means fluid molecules or gaseous molecules next elastic potential energy this is also important concept means certain amount of energy is stored in the solid materials or liquid materials that we have to calculate that is known as elastic potential energy means stored energy in a matter okay these are the important concepts next uh, i will move to the mechanical properties of fluids here this chapter having 5 teaching hours and 5 allotted marks. This 5 allotted marks is distributed in several sections. First one is MCQ type question. One question which carries one mark and fill in the blank type question which carries one mark and essay type question which carries three mark. Short answer type questions three mark. Okay. Totally 5 mark okay. 5 mark is there 
now i will discuss about important concepts on this chapter first one is pressure okay pressure what is meant by pressure that we have to discuss here okay. pressure for a fluid pressure for a fluid molecules means if you consider any liquid surface above the surface atmospheric pressure is acting to that molecule and inside the that uh, fluid surface there is a pressure from the neighboring fluid molecules when we add those two pressures we will get total pressure okay that is known as pressure at a depth under gravity okay next one is pascal's law here pascal's law it indicates about the pressure if you consider any gases chamber it has uh, four valves or outlets okay three outlets are closed and we have to apply the force at one outlet there the pressure will be applied to that gases chamber and this will distributes equally towards all portion of a that gases chamber hmm? means applied pressure distributes equally that is the pascal's law and uh, applications are there for pascal's law that he have to write next flow of fluid streamline and turbulent flow this indicates the velocity of the fluid particles during the flow next bernoulli's principle okay this is also important concept the pressure energy kinetic energy and potential energy all are constant in a medium or matter that is the bernoulli's principles here also some applications are there for bernoulli's principle we have to write that and viscosity viscosity indicates the the fluid flow in that medium means when when we throw a stone in a water it will pass in certain velocity and when we throw a stone in a viscous fluid the speed will decrease us according to density and thickness of that molecules okay that that all things are explained in a viscosity next surface tension surface tension and angle of contact and capillary rise okay all these are the important concepts in this chapter okay thank you